Same old shit, yeah. grinding. You know ain't nothing changed one bit. It's a unique hustle. We done came up, bitch. Right. Name another podcast. I like this. Cause E. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here, man, on Boss Talk 101, man. It's A, hey, man. We got a special special guest in the house today. I got I'm a, I, I got California in here. I got Texas in here, man. I got my boy Charleston White here. I got my my guy uh Artola Marvin here. I got my guy Melvin Foreman here, man. How you guys doing, man? Good, good. Man, good good to have you, man. And I I know you know the thing I always talk about, man, is uh the youth. Um uh we we've had different situations where, like I said, Mob James was down um when was that, about three months of like in June. In June, yeah. yeah like it was June. it was in June and uh and and, and, and it, it it pretty much permeated the waves of the internet. Mob, uh, it was Mob James and Charleston White, um, and when everybody seen it, it was a it was a kids function, wasn't it? Oh uh, no, no. Uh, he uh he, he came he, he came down here for a kids function. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, but we had a pop. We had the podcast the night before. Yeah, I seen that. So yeah, we had the podcast. Uh, so we got into it on the podcast that Thursday night. Uh, yeah, that Thursday night. So we the kids was there Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So yeah, yeah. So and and I know having conversations about it now, hindsight, uh, talking to them, I was all, I always would say it really was more about the kids. You know what I mean? That's what this whole thing. That's what everything is about. Um, uh, well, uh, you, it on the surface it, it seemed like that, uh, but it it really wasn't. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, it, it really wasn't about the kids. Uh, it was really uh, you know, to address the sentiments. Uh, you know that I've that I've expressed over the internet, okay, uh, and, and made public. So it, it wasn't it wasn't about the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was supposed to be what it was about. But it ended up not being about the kids. Is what you're saying? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, nah, it wasn't about the kids. Yeah. yeah so, nah. so, and and I always, and you know me, I go right on back to structure. You know, far as when you, I mean, because of where we're at today in society, is it? it far as gangs go and far as the way that the, the, the culture is, do we want to see change with the youth? Do we want to see children and everybody else detour those things and try to do things in a different way? Well, yeah, when you say do you want to see change, and just like I, I interjected to you earlier, a lot of them start off thinking about they want to do change and they want to, you know, you hear ex-gang members always talking about we doing it for the kids. No, nigga, you're doing it for yourself. You're trying to get be seen. You change from what your intention was. You get on front of camera. You get to boasting about stuff that you really didn't do and you really wasn't a part of. You didn't make up this. And so now you're just like rappers, just hearing stuff. So when it ends up, it don't be about the kids because if it was yeah, about like the kids, yeah. if it was about the kids, we wouldn't be in the situations we are with our little uh, fragile egos. Yeah, that's right. If, if we thought it was a bigger order, it could nothing that could be said to me if I had another intent. But they say before, destruction is the ego, you know? And so we start playing on who I am and what I did. And you ain't done nothing. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing I, I look at is uh, when, when I look at, like I, and, and like I told you when we was in LA, well, I alluded to the fact of a lot of people, a lot of kids in the culture in the South, um, after they seen colors or whatever, or me being in East Texas, Shreveport was right there. So you was influenced by a lot of those guys moving down there. Is what we. This is how we ended up, uh, you know, even knowing about gangs. Period. You know, we was influenced by movies and and stuff like that. But we never really. That wasn't our thing. Not mine down here. But at the end of the day, a lot of times you see people portraying that. Now, is there anything that it, it should there be a deterrent now? You know, far as after you see all the killing that go on, is this something to where we should be saying, hey, man, this ain't the way we should be going with it? Far as gangs. Well, I, I guess we all say that. You know, we all could say uh, this shouldn't be the way it was. But then again, the portrayal is so prolific that what you're saying is one ear out the other. Okay. You know? So, I mean, it's a, it's a hard job. Lot couldn't get one. So if you can get one, 
you done done God's world. You know what I'm saying? You done done the work. But to think you can save everybody, can't nobody save everybody. You know? Yeah. So you have to keep on not talking the talk, but walk the walk. Show it every day. Being that I'm in I'm in my hood every day. Yeah. I'm in my park every day. As a grown man. I'm I'm not I told Marv, I'm not OG Marv to them, I'm Mr. Kenzie. I earned that. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not your playmate, I'm not your, but I'm trying to just show, like, damn, bro, you know, we got to, I can't tell you to pick up your pants, because if I'm just worried about your pants, if I ain't trying to get your head, the hell with what you're wearing, or yeah. how you're wearing it. You feel what I'm saying? So we have to get a concept together as a unit, who we trying to really save. Yeah, because you know and I know, like, when you look at, like, different uh, sections in Texas where people are portraying, hey, man, I'm in the gang or whatever. Um, it is happening. It happens uh, even now, today, you um, know. Uh, California, uh, gang banging outside of California is a, is, a, is, a, is a different animal. Correct. Uh, California and Chicago is, it, is its own animals. Uh, one's a lion, one's a bear. Uh, anything outside of those lines uh it's not, it ain't concrete. Uh, outside of California, you can, you can go be granddaddy. You can kill niggas when you 14. You can kill niggas in your 20s. You can kill niggas in your 30s. And when you get 45, uh, you can go to community college. And, 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 and you can go uh, to your son's uh, football game in Mansfield, you can go to his game in West Dallas. Uh, niggas in California don't have that luxury. So when I moved to California, I saw niggas can't retire out the game. Wow. These niggas 60 years old, 50 years old, they still at the park. Well, they're at the park through election, homie. It ain't, it ain't, it's, it's not that they can't get out the game. Uh, it's some people that are so stuck. I did time, I got out of prison, I went to college, I'd have had a whole life, been out of prison but, 26 years. But, but that's that's the you observation I made. That's my qualitative yeah. study, right? That's what I went to California to study. I didn't I didn't go to party. I didn't go to get high. I went to study, and I walked the streets every day. So uh, I went where everybody told me not to go. So I know what I was looking at. I know what I was looking at. Them niggas stuck. It ain't a lot of opportunities afforded to them as it is out here. So a lot of this is the land of opportunity out here. This is a felony-friendly environment. You can get a job at Lockheed Martin and make missiles for the military with a felony out here. They ain't got that luxury in California. The trucking industry don't boom in California like it does here. The oil fields, they don't get to work in the plants. They don't get the twig cars. They ain't out there on the, on the dock. So I saw that, homie. I saw that. So I got involved through community, seeing this guy, working with this guy. So I, I was taking notes. I saw that it ain't no black unity nowhere in California. I saw that a preacher can't even speak out against this stuff. So I saw that that's a different animal. Those black people are suffering way different than us. Wow. Uh, let me end it, uh, say yeah, about Jack that, uh, how me and Charleston met. And he can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, through the internet, the proper use, he seen me and he came to St. Andrews Park. Straw hat, cowboy boots, and overalls. And he said, Melvin, I watch you on the internet. I come to meet you and to learn this culture. And it wasn't like I'm, God gave him the key. He learned from just hanging with me. Yeah. He got to go to see Nipsey Hussle funeral. He got to go to uh, the LA Gangs Unite. One time he called me, he was on what, Imperial in Vermont, mm -hmm. almost fit to get it, killed, it, and I had, remember? Yeah, in the Denver Lanes neighborhood. <laughs> and yeah. I had to tell him how to get up out of there and teach him, so I was mentoring him, and the first thing he said out of his mouth, he said, Melvin, there is no retirement for you, huh? Wow. He recognized that because you still got bullets flying 
And, uh, you know, these parks are uh, in L.A. on the west side. I'm speaking on the west, west side. side. You always say. And then also at that time, everybody embraced this man. So I don't know how we at this position now. Yeah. But everybody, he got to meet everybody. 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 Through so you. So we embraced him. Through you. Through not only me, because he knew he uh, Cappuccino, yeah, I'm Psycho I, Mike, I, I, Rayana. I, 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 I migrated. Got, I migrated off. So the people that I was in California with, they didn't have no gang affiliation. Wow. These was good working people, and they didn't want me at St. Andrews Park. They was terrified that I was with Melvin, right? Because they know California. They wow. know that any given time, man, people, kids was dying at St. Andrews Park. So I was going up there when when people were still getting shot at, right? But I'm there to learn. Nigga, I'm on a journey. Wow. You see what I'm saying? So, man, I'm Ubering there. I'm getting dropped off, and sometimes he ain't there. Wow. You, you, you see what I'm saying? So, sometimes I'm Ubering back, and it's late. I got left at the 60s neighborhood. Didn't nobody know me. I'm hearing niggas say, say, cuz, who, who, who is homie there, cuz? Oh, that's Skull, partner. Man, where's Skull at? But he knew who he left me with. I don't know. Wow. But I trust him because he's been kind of father figure, uncle like to me while I'm in California. Nigga, I don't know nobody. But I'm entrenched in street culture. So I got to learn this shit, homie. This is the shit niggas where I'm from and killed and died for. And I'm on Hoover Street. I get to walk down Hoover Street. I get to go to Grape Street. I get to go to all these different places that niggas from my city will never go to. So, nigga, I got to come back here and teach these niggas. Say, homie, fuck that Crip and Blood shit, nigga. That's them nigga shit. You can't go up there and claim that shit. Them niggas will kill you up there talking about what you, where you from, nigga. Leave them niggas shit alone. That's California game. So what I did, I always sat California over here. Mm -hmm. I never, because they, the, uh, they the originals Original. and the founders. So I never spoke on them. Nigga, I learned that from him. Everything past them is emulating and imitating. They really faking. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm telling everybody back in my town, nigga, fuck that cripping blood shit, nigga. Fuck you cry bad nigga. I'm getting big on the internet. California niggas hearing this language, me talk to these local crips. Wow. Nigga, I went to the funeral trying to figure out, man, what the f fuck everybody crazy about this Nipsey Hustle nigga for? Nigga, he ain't played on our songs down here. So I'm watching my city, Dallas, Fort Worth throw this celebration for this Nipsey guy, and nigga, we got niggas do what he do here. Fuck we celebrating that nigga for. So Melvin say, hey, man, I'm going to the funeral. You want to go? So, nigga, I go to the funeral trying to figure out who the fuck is Nipsey Hussle and why this nigga being celebrated. So when I'm at the funeral, they smoking weed. They playing his, his album, which is cussing, bitch, this, fuck this. So, nigga, I'm fucked up. This ain't Southern shit. Yeah, we no, don't do man, this is a dead body. But because I'm with the Rolling Sixties, I get to sit counter to the family. So I'm looking at all these motherfuckers smoke weed, including myself, smoking weed in this motherfucker, because we don't do this down south. Mm -hmm. Weed are for Nipsey. I start listening to them people speak of Eremis. The mother, the father, the girlfriend, the little boy. The little boy said, last night, Eremis came to me in a dream. It blew me away. I put the weed out. Wow. No, man. And when we walk by, I'm looking at the family. They mourning Eremis. We bullshitting for Nipsey. Wow. So I can easily say, fuck that character. So... I get I get left in the in the in the sixties neighborhood, nigga. This is a melee. Can't nobody get through. The Uber can't get through. Nothing. I'm there to like 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night, homie. How the fuck I'm gonna get back home? And I I can't say this, but Skull left a bag. Say Skull, Skull tell me get the bag. Them niggas ain't gonna let me get that bag. They got that bag and took it to Skull. Wow. But I'm still there with the sixties. So this big old nigga right here can barely walk, ankles bad, knees bad, look mean in the motherfucker. Say, say, uh, big homie, you think you can give me a ride to the house? Big sight. He ain't said two words in all day long. Yeah, I'll give you a ride. Where you at? So I tell him where I'm at. That's a danger zone. 
So as we riding home, school tell me, I remember when Nip was about 11 years old, he came up to me and said, big homie, can I ask you something? And he said, yeah, why you gang bang? He said, this is what the 11 year old, 12 year old kid asked him. That ain't Nip, that's Irmis, just an inquisitive kid. I got that from the funeral. He was very inquisitive. So he tell him I gang bang because I was born to. Say, big homie, when I grow up, I'm going to take care of the hood. That was Irmis had that desire. Nip didn't do that. Nip was a gang banging rolling 60 that'll kill a eight tray gangster crip that'll shoot a Hoover. Wow. So wow. I don't honor the characters. Same with Monster Cody. I read the book. Monster Cody as a kid. Nigga, that's where I got my gang knowledge from, that book. Miss Pumple, a juvenile worker, gave me that book. Nigga, I sat in isolation and read that book. Nigga, when I came out, I became the leader. Because them niggas didn't have the knowledge. They didn't know wow. nothing about Hoover Joe and none of that other kind of shit. So when I grew up, I started learning that he changed his name to Shakur. Cody Scott and Monster Cody ain't the same people. But they go worship Monster. Wow. So I say, nigga, fuck these characters. Whoever Buncher is, what do his mama call him? What do his kids call him? Nigga, don't give me these street names, these bullshit characters that can't stand before God, nigga. Can't stand before God, nigga. So I assassinate the characters because he who controls images controls mine. These bullshit images, nigga. Wow. Nipsey wasn't in heaven, that little boy said. He said, Irmis. So I don't speak on Irmis. I don't speak on Cody. But nigga, whatever them names is that hip hop gave us, nigga, I assassinate them. Because our kids worship them motherfuckers. This is a generation of idol worshipers, nigga. Wow. So I assassinate the idols. Don't fuck what I say, nigga. Look what I do. So that's why I, I say any motherfucking thing. And I've heard you say yeah, that. Yeah, I say any motherfucking thing, huh? Yeah, the, yeah, I say any internet. motherfucking thing. The internet yeah, I'm a is shock something. jock. Yeah, 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 I'm a shock jock. Nigga ain't got no business listening to me no way. He and I'm willing to time. die. I'm willing to die, kill, and go to jail by what I come out of my mouth. Wow. So when you think about the character versus the 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 individual as far as the way the mother brings this child to, to her image when she's dealing with it. Do you, I mean, do you guys see the difference or do y'all feel like it's the same? First, let me start by saying this. And it ain't gonna be no rebuttals about this shock jocks, killers, whoever the fuck run in their mouth. I represent LA. I represent this crip shit. I don't give a fuck about a character, but I care about a person's legacy. Don't no nigga disrespect Nipsey Hussle, Monster Cody, Tookie, Raymond watched it, nigga. It's tried by 12 or carried by six anywhere, anytime. Well, they characters to me, man. Well, I ain't so talking I ain't, about who well, nobody I, I, I else done, opinion. I, done, I didn't I done, interject I done, you. I done disrespected I don't them, though. No, no, but no, I, no. But I done disrespected them, Skull. Yeah, no, you I said this said. in front of me, and I done disrespected no, them. No, no, and no, I just no, said no. I was a shock jock. So, nigga, no, at any no. given time, my nigga, if I feel the need to speak on something, it ain't a man alive. That can muzzle this mouth. Hey, fuck a muzzle I'm willing, a mouth. I'm willing to when die, you talking, kill, and go to jail by what I speak on. Let's see no, that you're right. Yeah, no, you, you, man, you, you lying to me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's why I talk hold so boldly. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold up, hold up. No, that's why I talk so boldly. Hold up, get it. But hold up, hold on, hold on. We talking like men. I ain't scared to die. I know. We ain't scared to kill no nigga neither. My body, nigga. That ain't what we here for. We ain't arguing. I'm not, because I'm not doing no motherfucking talking no, of me, but no, no, man, no, man, man, listen, hold nigga, on, listen, chief, I ain't, I ain't, I'm listen, talking. I ain't got to justify my words. I ain't got to justify my words. I ain't, hold on, hold on. I ain't, words, I ain't, I ain't telling you a listen, motherfucking listen, thing. Listen, listen, I ain't, ain't, ain't got to justify my words. No, 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 check this out. I ain't got to justify my words. I ain't got to justify my words to nobody, my nigga. I done said what I done said. So whatever consequences that come with what I done said, I wouldn't accept whatever consequences. I wouldn't accept whatever consequences. We mean, bro. This is my platform, and and, and we, we got, 
I come I'm in love. Talk, but I didn't I interrupt it. nobody, and I'm going to finish but saying I come what I'm saying. We all have opinions. But listen, but, listen, yeah. but we're here, but we here talking about what our things I done said. Yeah. No, I'm not and talking I, I, about I, I, none I, I, of that. I'm y'all talking can about. Y'all talk without me then. No, 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 no. Y'all don't talk without me. No, I didn't like that, bro. No, no, no. We ain't We came to talk. No, I ain't I ain't got to justify a motherfucking thing what I done said, my nigga. I done said it. And I now no, I don't. I ain't got to justify. I don't, my nigga. I done drove too far from this motherfucker, nigga. Got me fucked up, man. Hey, well, we here. Well, y'all talk. We, we here. Y'all go talk without California me. California is here, nigga. Man, y'all, y'all we, we that's what do. we meant. Come on, man. We, we got we, we to do better, man. man. Nah, we ain't doing better because this is how this game go. But when he one, talked, one, we didn't say a lot. can't lead the conversation. conversation. He, but you can't not, have it one-sided. You can't do that in front of us, bro. That's pencil is that. Don't you ain't disrespecting other people and kids. We gotta do better, man. No, no, no. You still it ain't that. You bro, cannot disrespect. That, but I'm saying, you can't respect yeah, that. but I mean, that's but, you bro. can't do all the talking and not in front of okay. us. Okay, I, I, I agree with what he said. I agree with what he said about a character. Am I right? You agree with it? I agree with what he said about a character. The character, I agree. But don't still in front of us. Yeah, it can't go like that. But son, let me talk to you, Melvin. Let me talk to you, bro. I ain't tripping. But but let me ask. Let me let let let's clear it up, man. For we because we can't. It ain't like gonna that. be clear, bro. No, because we talk no, too much. No, 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 no. That's, We're that's, not here. When you sit and think, you can talk. I ain't caring about the character he right. But when you talk about the dead, but we never got no, to no, that. no, 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 but no, that's no, why no, I brought, no, no, that's no, 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 Right. And, and and explain to him my view. I saw his but, pos- Okay, but I'm just saying, when it came to what he's saying, it's certain things I, I agree with him, what he's saying hey. about... Hey. When the, about the... the yeah, the, y'all, we shouldn't, we couldn't the, do it like that. Man. Yeah, but I'm saying... Okay.